This is He Knows Everything. We want to give you that heat, that fire. We keeping a foot on the whoop. Oh, yeeks. We keeping a foot on the whoop. Oh, yeeks. Notice the Terrence Buck Crawford fiasco has died down. Notice no one's talking about Terrence Buck Crawford. Notice no one is really unctioning and bringing up anything that's associated with Terrence Buck Crawford. Because Terrence Buck Crawford has always been what he's always been a barking, <laughs> fudgy, wah wah, barking behind a damn fence. I want to make something very clear here. I don't have a problem with Terrence Buck Crawford. Terrence Buck Crawford is a brother. I think people think that he knows everything has a problem with him and he cuts against the grain. I don't have a problem with Terrence Buck Crawford. I have a problem with people when they do dumb shit and they don't fess up and they don't take ownership of the dumb shit that they do. He knows everything does dumb shit and he will fess up and own up to his dumb shit. Everyone does dumb shit. You gotta fess up and own up to your dumb shit. You gotta take accountability with your dumb shit. Whether if you're doing this with the man above, whether if you're doing it with other people, and if you publicly have done a multitude of dumb shit, you need to add you need to admit it publicly that you've done the dumb shit. Terrence Buck Crawford's dumb shit is he keeps re-signing with top rank. Whose fault is that? Like, do we sit here and give him a cookie for it? Do we sit here and praise him for it? Do we sit here and acknowledge him for it? Or do we hold his feet to the fire and hold him accountable? Accountability is tough for a lot of people because a lot of people don't want to hold people accountable. But you got to hold people accountable. You got to hold even your brethren accountable. This is how people are going to do better. Accountability is a tough thing. Even when it affects you personally. Shoot, he knows everything has to deal with accountability. Even when he fucks up. Because he knows everything has had a recent fuck up. And he's holding himself accountable for it. You got to hold yourself accountable for situations because if you don't hold yourself accountable, then you're not being honest with yourself. And if you're not being honest with yourself, then how can you self-assess and self-evaluate yourself in the situation? This is what people got to understand. And this is why it's very clear that a Terrence Buck Crawford, although he's a brother and although he is loved as a brother, the best form of love that you can give your brother is admonition chastisement and correction the bible tells us that man and he knows everything is given terrence Bo crawford that because terrence Bo crawford made three signatures he signed his name three times over the top rank knowing what top rank is all about knowing their indentured servitude knowing that they are a slave trade operation knowing that Bob Arum will always get over on his fighters and make what he needs to make over them and pay them less than, less than what they're worth, less than their value, less than their cap. Now, Shakur Stevenson took advantage of the situation through Jay Prince and was like, okay, you see the situation with Bud, we gonna really see if, you know, you really like that and took advantage of it. But he had Jay Prince there to ensure that his affairs were governed correctly. Terrence Buck Crawford has Bomac. Bomac pretty much just goes by whatever Bob Arum tells him. He doesn't challenge anything. Jay Prince is a businessman extraordinary. He's been around the block. He challenges any and every fucking thing. So we have to be honest with ourselves here, man. And we can't sit here and lie and sugarcoat the ideologies. And we can't sugarcoat anything when it comes to Bomac, when it comes to Terrence McCarthy, when it comes to all of these situations. We have to be honest here. And we have to tell the truth. And the honesty and the truth and what we tell is very simple. It has to be very telling. It has to be very truth telling. It has to be something where we basically tell something from a phonetic standpoint, something from a finite standpoint, something from a strong mindset standpoint, and something that tells us that we have to tell the truth here. And what is the fundamental truth? That when it's all said and done, that the biggest picture here, the hot pocket topic here, everything that's affiliated behind the situation is as simple as this. That Terrence Buck Crawford is what he is. A guy who's not holding himself accountable. And if he's not holding himself accountable, then why should we sit here and also not hold him accountable? That makes us birds of a feather flocking together. That makes us the blind leading the blind into the ditch. We have to hold people accountable when people do bad shit, when people do fucked up shit, and when people do stupid shit. When we don't hold people accountable for that, 
then we find ourselves in what's called a precarious situation. And we have to be honest here, we have to be respectful here, and we have to be truth-telling fashion here when it comes to these things. So when it's all said and done, Terrence Buck Crawford is not gonna get no love over here from He Knows Everything. Terrence Buck Crawford is not gonna get anything of any facet here. He Knows Everything's gonna hold his feet to the fire. Because at the end of the day, you made the decisions. So when you keep making the decisions, you gotta be held accountable for your decisions. I wanna hear in the comment section what you guys have to say about Terrence Buck Crawford and him constantly making bad decisions and then now, all of a sudden, he has an epiphany that he wants his brethren to help him. That's the cold hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cut through the fashion. I keeps the foot on the what? Oh, uh, geeks. I keeps the foot on the what? Oh, uh, geeks. This is he knows everything. Check it out.